we are going to dive into an exciting story about Anambra State's making waves in the tech world. Anambra State, under the leadership of Governor Professor Charles Chukumasoludo, is on a mission to become the next big tech hub in Nigeria. But what exactly is happening in Anambra State and can they really challenge the dominance of Lagos in the tech scene? Let's find out. For beginners, Africa's tech ecosystem saw a massive $4.85 billion in investments in 2022. That's a huge number. But did you know that over 87% of those investments went to tech startups in Lagos, Nigeria alone? So what makes Lagos such a powerhouse in Nigeria's tech world? Well, it boils down to two key factors. The abundance of tech hubs and the sheer amount of tech talent in Lagos. But Governor Soludo isn't one to be intimidated. He's determined to cultivate a similar ICT ecosystem in Anambra State. And I believe that Soludo's government is already making some serious progress. And one of the biggest moves is Anambra State's investment in fiber optic networks. Anambra has become the first state in the southeast region to offer zero charges on right of way for broadband infrastructure de deployment, which is a huge incentive to telecom companies. Considering that in Nigeria, the existing fee for right-of-way is 145 naira per meter. So this is a game changer because Nigeria's communication infrastructure has traditionally relied on microwave technology, which has a lot of limitations in terms of traffic capacity and um, anti-jamming capabilities. So fiber optic cables, on the other hand, are considered more reliable, secure, and offers a higher bandwidth. Um, just before we reel out the other steps and the challenges say to overcome, just a reminder, to like and share this video and to subscribe to the channel to be kept abreast of developments in Anambra State and Nigeria as a whole. Also, Anambra State's ICT agency have already deployed close to 500 kilometers of fiber optic cables. It's growing in a rapid pace and we don't know the exact figure for today targeting government entities and other key areas. And get this, there are plans for an additional 2,000 kilometers of four-way fiber duct infrastructure to really integrate fiber optic systems and establish a robust ICT framework in the coming cities and industrial parks in Anambra State. That's some serious commitment to building a strong tech foundation. And we have to commend the government if they are actually um, carrying out this things. But it's not just about the infrastructure. Governor Soludo is also investing heavily in fostering tech talent. They have established the Solution Innovation District, Tech Hub, which has already conducted digital skills training programs for thousands of Anambra youth. And that's not all. The state has also introduced the Code Anambra a software development program to train even more young people positioning Anambra as that uh, tech hub which they want to be. Now, you might be wondering, how do they plan to keep these talented individuals in Anambra State and not lose them to Lagos or even overseas countries? Well, the state has come up with a, a strategy it's like taking a page out of uh, Silicon Valley's playbook and looking to collaborate with local universities. Anambra State is partnering with Namda Azikwe University to establish an internship program for a university tech hub alliance, which looks very good. But it's not just about the youth also. Soludo is also focused on transforming the Anambra State Civil Service into a tech-savvy, efficient machine. Normally, they function at a snail speed. Yes, seriously. 
The administration is therefore retraining civil servants on digital technologies and supplying the needed systems. Not to be outdone, the Soluda administration has also adopted the Nigeria Startup Act, making Anambra one of the very few states that have domesticated this act in Nigeria. The act is a joint initiative by Nigeria's tech startup ecosystem and the presidency to harness the potential of digital economy through co-created regulations. The act is aimed at ensuring that Nigeria's laws and regulations are clear, planned, and work for the tech ecosystem. And just before Buhari left government, he signed this into law, and that number has now adopted it, which is very good. To further boost its uh, ICT infrastructure, Soludo Sanambra is collaborating with the Internet Exchange Point of Nigeria to establish also an Internet Exchange Point. If successful, this would position Anambra as one of the locations for IXPN's point of presence in Nigeria, which will boost data and trafficking on information. But it seems that the most exciting development to Anambra people is the Anambra's technology collaboration with 26 U.S.-based companies, including tech giants like Google, Meta, Amazon, and Microsoft. And this strategic alliance aims to cultivate a thriving tech ecosystem in the state, fostering technological exchange and economic growth. However, we will come back to this soon because it needs more introspection. So it's clear that Anambra is making all the right moves, you could say, to become a tech hub. But what about the challenges? Well, for starters, Soludo needs to address infrastructure gaps, very important, such as reliable power supply and internet connectivity to create an enabling environment for tech companies. Attracting and retaining tech, uh, top tech talent will also be crucial, which means investing in tech education and creating an appealing ecosystem for professionals. Securing sufficient funding and investment from both public and private sources will also be key, as well as ensuring a favorable regulatory environment, which the Startup Act could have all already taken care of. While the Soluda administration is partnering with major global giants, it might be more effective to tap into the Lagos Stake Hub, where local alternatives to the global giants already exist. The reason is that the big tech companies are in Nigeria for profit, and they will dump Nigeria once their profits are threatened, as is happening now, with many of them throwing in the towel and quitting the country. So you cannot completely rely on them. But the locals are going nowhere. More so, the local tech hubs could easily move part of their operations and staff to Anambra State with the right incentives like cheap housing, cheap accommodation for office space, and reliable infrastructure, power, internet connectivity, and the rest of them. Why not? Some of them could be um, lobbied to come and set up shop in Anambra State. And let's not forget about the competition. Anambra will need to differentiate itself and compete with other emerging and established tech hubs in Nigeria. Lagos is out of the question because they are already there on the top. But cities like Paracourt, Abuja, and probably Kaduna, they're also positioning themselves as preferred destinations for tech companies. So Anambra State have to really do something spectacular to distinguish itself. It's a tall order, though, but with uh, Governor Soludo's leadership and the state's ambitious initiatives, Anambra might have what it takes to become the next big thing in Nigeria's tech scene. It may not be a leapfrog, but any jump at all is what it. So what do you think? Can Anambra really challenge Lagos to some extent, to some extent and become the next tech hub in Nigeria? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more exciting stories about 
tech and the innovation in Africa and the things that are going on in Anambra State. Please, we hope to see you back in our next one. Stay blessed.